already cut all the two by fours to length. We bought whiteboard, just like that one over there by whatever size it is you think you need. And then you just measure it and cut two by fours to length. And then you go screw them all together with wood screws or deck screws or any kind of wood screws. I like to use long screws, this makes it more sturdy. Uh, I laid everything out in the flattest part I have in the garage, and I have already put together this end over here, but I'll show you how I screw them in. I'm not a carpenter, I don't really like working with dead tree carcasses, but here I am in the garage making stuff out of wood. So I like to drill the hole before I screw it in. Because sometimes you can crack the two by four or something, but when you're when you're screwing in from one to the other, try to go into the center, just makes it easier. And then if it's in the center you'll see later when I put the caskets on why it's better if it's in the center. I'm gonna try to keep them push down flat so they're on the concrete and it's as flat as it is. I'll make that flat in a little bit, I'll show you how. So, I have some basically like decking screws and I have a little extender sheath, just makes it easier when you're using long screws. But you already have a hole, so it'll make it easy. It'll, it should go pretty easy. If you give it a couple little clicks at the bottom, it'll countersink itself, so that it's not sticking out, it's just below the surface. Okay, now I'm gonna put the casters on. It's just a regular caster for five bucks, six bucks at Home Depot. I suggest getting, the better the caster, the better it rolls, it, it's better. Don't buy super cheap ones, they suck. Uh, we have two different kinds. We have two that have no lock. And I also have two that have a lock. So if you move the stand into place, you just lock that and the wheel doesn't turn. So the whole thing's kind of locked in place. 
But what I like to do, because it's two by fours, and if you don't have a planer and make them perfectly flat, they're not flat, they're not totally square. I'm not a carpenter, so my cuts aren't square. Um, I put my caster where I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make a line, and then I'm gonna show you how I make it like kind of even, so it doesn't rock real bad when it's rolling around. So the way, these casters, I'm only gonna be able to get three screws in. I'm not gonna be able to get that one. I don't wanna go on the side of it. So I'll kind of mark where it's at. I want it just a little bit on the inside from out here and a little bit on the inside from over here so it doesn't stick out. And I can get three holes into it. So I'll just make a little line. And I have a chisel. Oh, I need a hammer. So I have a little chisel, and as you can see, you know, the, 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 this height and this height is not perfect, so I will take my chisel and I will notch this out. And that way when this sits on here, that sits nice and flat and they'll all sit pretty flat. Well, I'm going to do that to all of them. Now I'm going to put on the casters. I already drilled this one, but just hold it and I drilled the hole so it's pre-drilled a little bit. I wouldn't usually use a screw this long, but this is what I have. And I mean, it, it's not too long, it'll work, but that's what I'm using. Any wood screw will work. It's casters, the better they are, the bigger the holes are, so you can have a bigger bolt. So you, got, you do gotta make sure you have like a head on the bolt, on the screw, not just like a regular wood screw, it'll go right through it. sideways on the edge of wood like that, it'll just split. And now I'm gonna do all the rest of them.
So I've never made one this long before, and I realized I should probably have one in the middle because there's not really any support for the center. So I cut a couple more pieces of wood, and I'm going to put that in. going to flip it over. Um, the whiteboards may or may not stay in. They're not actually secured to anything. They're just sitting on there. We're going to secure them in a second, but uh, we're just going to flip it over so she's going to stop. She's going to help me flip it. So we flipped it over. It's all good. The whiteboard is not connected to anything. It's just kind of in there because the frame is pretty tight on it, but it's not really connected. So I'm going to drill holes, I've numbered on the whiteboard corresponding to the posts that I have. This is where you're going to have to figure it out on your own on how they work. It's manzanita, it's not straight, so you kind of have to take your wood and you kind of have to figure out how it has to, to be positioned. So you don't want them outside of this because you're going to get bird poop on your floor. So if you keep if you can keep them, even if they're turned, something like that, as long as the top part is like inside the frame, you're not going to get bird poop on the outside. So I've already numbered them, and I know which ones are which, and I know where they're going, and you're just going to have to figure that out uh, kind of on your own. But now I am going to throw holes in. When you drill your holes and you number them, you've you got to make sure that you're in one of those 2x4s that you have underneath there. If you don't, you got to have wood to drill into because you're going to take your post and you're going to put a, a screw through the post and that's what's going to connect this to that and everything's going to be stable. But as you can see, it's not connected right now. But that's what we're doing. And you can kind of tell with your screws on the side of where your 2x4 is from the side of it. So it's pretty easy to make sure you get in the wood. in here and I am about two inches deep is about how deep I drilled it because the this is manzanita it's really really hard if you don't pre-drill it it's going to crack um, but you really do want quite a bit of screw in into the wood because this is a post and uh, you're going to clean it and you know, take holes on and off of it so it will you'll move it a little bit so you want it to be a pretty good anchor 
but it's kind of a pain to do it this way. Uh, but this is how you can do it. So you know which one, you know which hole. You put your screw in, you've already started your hole. So this kind of it doesn't have to be like perfect right now because I'm not going to tighten it all the way down. I'm going to get it on there so it's not going to come off and it's not going to break or anything. It's on there. It's not going to come off. You could put all of your posts on there, but see, it's like it's hit, it wants to tip over now. So we're going to do it a little different way. Um, but I'm not going to talk because I'm just going to do it. So. The next thing I have to do, I have all my other pieces that are going to be all my runners. They're going to go across and attach this piece to this piece, and then, you know, here to here, and then same thing over here and over here. I'm also going to take some and put them across here, and this is going to really just make it all rigid, but it's a purpose too, because I'm putting my food dishes down here. So it's lower to the ground, they're not going to fling as much out, and if they're up here sitting, they're not going to be able to poop on here. So I'll need a runner across here to, to, to attach this, and I'll do the same thing over here on this side with, with these. So uh, that's the next thing I'm going to do. Cut all these to length, remember which one goes where, and I'll show you how I drill the holes in them and how I connect them all together. Uh, you want it to be as rigid as possible. You're going to move it around, you know, you might roll it outside and hose it off or something so you don't want it to be real loose so like the more like cross members you can have up on it the the stronger it's going to make it it's not going to be able to move um, you know I, I i don't sell these but i make them for pet, my pet birds so i want it as easy for me i don't want to mess i don't i don't want to hit my my walls when i'm taking it outside uh, I want it to be nice and rigid, and I want it to be the best setup it, it can be for my little setup. So uh, I'm going to go cut all these how long they need. I cut my first piece. I'm going to put it right here, uh, about like so. Uh, I'm going to drill through this piece and into this piece. I'm going to hold it. So it like butts up against there. I kind of cut the angle so they kind of match. And I'm going to screw through here into here. And then we're going to drill a hole through here into here. And we're going to screw that together. And and just, just get creative and do, you know, what 
however your bends are, your manzanita, they're real bendy wood, so you can really manipulate them to get different little perches on the ends. Like, I'm trying to leave the little end so it's a little perch over there, but, uh, all right, you're gonna have to hold that in. So the screws I have are one and a half inch long. Uh, you have to pre-drill this wood or it will crack. It's so dense, it'll crack. I usually set my drill bit just about the, like, the length of the screw I have to go in. So I make sure I don't poke through, like I'm connecting them like this. You don't want to poke through on the other side and just have a hole if you don't need to. Um, the different diameters of the wood kind of determines on what kind of screw I use and most of what I have left is all going to be these bigger screws. I think that's probably the only one that's a small screw. So I'm going to keep going on doing all these and drill them all out and screw them all together. So I don't have the right length of screws for all this stuff. I didn't want to use something that barely went into this one. I wanted it most of the way in because it'll be a good strong joint. You're going to have to clean it. You're going to have to move it. I didn't have the right ones with me. It poked through. I have a cutoff wheel with a little grinder. Um, I'm just going to grind that off real quick so there's no point sticking out and it, the, it won't hurt the bird. You can still see it but it's not sharp you can't it's not going to hurt anybody and it is a really good connection because it is all the way through so it's going to be really really sturdy and as you can see i have this side done and it's still a little wobbly so when i take this piece and i end up putting it here it's really going to brace this whole thing together and it's really going to be a whole lot stronger and it's actually how i'm going to connect uh the pans that we're going to put in here for the birds to eat and drink out of. So we'll get to that in a little bit. I'm going to do the other side and then we'll work on these. Okay, these are the pans that we're going to use. We're going to make a little basket to go in, in the middle of the, the stand. <coughs> these are just steam table pans from like restaurants. And we have a few different sizes, but they're all the same width and they're all the same depth. Uh, I measured what they are. It's two and a half deep and it's five and a half wide here. So I have some leftover pieces from when we uh, did the aviary we put all this on the inside of the aviary uh, i'm going to cut all these pieces so they'll fit together and you'll kind of see how it goes together the best thing it, it most people aren't going to do this if they're building you know a play stand or whatever but um the best thing to do is draw it out on a piece of paper so you know that it's right you know that your your numbers are right your measurements are right always measure twice cut once because you can't put it back on once you cut it off so I'm gonna start cutting it off. Uh, it's just stainless steel welded wire. Again, I have my cutoff wheel on my, on my <coughs> uh, angle grinder. I'm gonna cut them all and then I'll show you what else I do.
Okay, uh, now I put on the uh, angle grinder, I put on a flapper wheel. It's just a bunch of pieces of sandpaper that are all folded over each other. You can kind of see it. Uh, if you don't do that, and some people don't, these are really sharp on the, the edges right here. Um, I'm just basically, I'm going to knock all that off so it's nice and smooth and no, we won't get cut when we're cleaning it. The birds won't get cut when they're landing on it. Um, I just want to make sure it's nice and smooth and, and there's no problem. And you basically do it the same way that, uh, you know, you would sand anything. It's basically just a big sander. I've cut everything out and I've, I've laid it out. Basically, we're going to make a little basket. It's going to be the sides, the bottom, it's going to be the ends. The end, I left about an inch long because I'm going to bend this over and that's how I'm going to screw it down. I think that's how I'm going to put it together. I'm going to have to get over there once I put this together and see how it works out. But um, these are called J clips. It's for building cages, rabbit cages, bird cages. These are the pliers for J clips. How they work. You put it in, you line up your squares, and you just crimp it. It rolls it over and it makes a connection. So we're gonna do this all the way down, across, and all the way back across, and we're gonna end up with a nice little basket. It's gonna look like that. So we'll show you that when it's done. Put the uh, whole thing together with J-clips. It's just a basket. Uh, I said I was gonna leave that tall, that's why. This is what I did, I bent it. So it's actually gonna sit over the top of a piece of wood. I'm gonna bend the other side. I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm sure there's way better and easier ways to do it, but this is uh, what I got and how I'm gonna do it. I just got a little two by four and I'm gonna hold it right on the top of the line I'm just gonna bend it over right over the, the 2x4 and then I'm gonna try to straighten it out a little bit you know I mean it's a little it's got a little bend into it so I'm just trying to make it straight and then it should fit I'm hoping that it'll fit about like so and that's how that's the beginning of that. I'm going to put some screws right right here in the corner of these and screw those down. And then I have more work I'm going to do on the outside, but I wanted to do this before I put the outside perches on right here because it's going to be in my way. It's like I almost put them on and uh, no, I need to put this on first. So uh, I'm going to finish screwing this to... Um, the base and then we'll come back after I'm done. So we built the baskets, they're sitting in where they're going to go. Uh, there's going to be a little gap in between them. I'm going to put a piece of wood in between the middle to keep, if this gets out of here, to keep this from being able to move and it'll hold it really tight and sturdy and these will sit right on top just perfect how we want them to. Uh, the inside of these from here to here is five and a half inches so I'm going to cut just a little bit over five and a half inches and this is how I do it. So I'm going to cut it at just a little bit over five and a half. I put it in, a, I have a little vise, I put it in the vise, I try to keep this edge close to where I'm going to cut with my new edge. So five and a half is right here. I'm going to cut on the opposite side of the line just so I'm a little bit bigger than five and a half. So I cut pieces of wood. It's manzanita. It's really fat. It's, it's, it's a little bit too big for my birds. It's just stuff I had. So 
Uh, I'm gonna drill some holes in it and I'm gonna screw some bolt, uh, hanger bolts in them. It's a wood screw on one side and a regular bolt screw on the other side. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. Gonna do it real quick. I do it all the time. the hanger bolts it's a machine screw on one side and a wood screw on the other side I actually have the little fitting the bit that you screw this into to put in your little impact and it's a perfect little perch or anything that you might want to use otherwise what we're using right here but uh, it's really easy this thing's like four dollars on Amazon. I don't know what it is. We might ship. I don't know if we'll show tools at the end, but uh, really cool, easy way to do it. Like it's so easy. You screw it in, and you have a perfect little. And so I have some. Uh, this is quarter twenty uh, hanger bolt. By the way, you can pick them up at Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere, whatever. Uh, these are flanged wing nuts. It's quarter 20. That's what that is. Uh, and we're going to go stick it over here real quick. I'm really just putting these here. Not as much for this to sit on it, but just for it to keep this such a long stretch straight and even. And these will fit in there really good. So I'll screw this one on on this side. Now, I, I got it just a little bit below that right there because I don't really, really want it to sit on it. So that's going to hold that nice and good. This is going to sit here much better. This one will sit here even better with that one there and I'm gonna make one more to go right here and uh, then I'm gonna make the other side and then we'll be back because I'll be done but I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So I put all the pieces of wood in, I have the baskets in, I have a pan just sitting there. I wanna make sure because this one's kinda coming in, I wanna make sure I can just take it in and out pretty easy. So that's where that's gonna go and I can fit this these two together with one screw so I'm going to do that real quick And you can see I put a little piece of tape on the end of there. I measured that with a tape measure. And it was 13 sixteenths on the screw that I'm putting in here. Which is, which is one of these. And these are just, I've used them on wood before. They are not for wood. They're a self-tapping screw for metal. But they seem to work really good because this wood is so dense. So uh, now I'm going to try to put one of these in there just to get this to hold on together. So that, that's pretty good. So I have this side in, I'm gonna get this side in. Uh, I'm gonna try to maneuver this to try to keep it like kind of flat and I'm gonna try to get these two together uh, you can just I, I'm just gonna bend it so it kind of contours the wood and I don't care if there's a little high spot right there that's not where the pans going or anything this is just 
connecting it to the wood to give it some stability. Pan fits in good, goes in well. I'm going to repeat this process on the outside parts, and it, it's the first time I've ever made one of these like this, so it's kind of easier if I put the pans in it and I work off the other side. And I try to make it kind of straight, and I can bend these however I want. I mean, if I need to bend it out a little further, I can just kind of push it, and, and you can see it bent out. And then I can just, you know, push down and kind of contour it to the wood. I don't, this is just attaching. So this, this is what I'm concerned about is how is this sitting? Is it, you don't want it leaning over real bad. If you have water in there and it's sitting like that, it's all going to fall out. So just keep in mind. So we're going to add a couple extra little perches kind of like this. I'm just going to hold it in place and drill, and again, I got my drill sticking out as far as my screws going in, so I'm going to drill it all the way in. And that's going to be a beautiful little perch right there. Alright, uh, I got a couple more of those to add on. I'm not going to go through the whole thing and put them all on. I'm going to stick them all on all over the place. Uh, show you when it's...